Hello. Bye, guys. Oh. So, last night, I washed my hair. Right, I washed my hair last night. Okay. And I this, I was doing, like, a hair care kind of video for TikTok. I wanted to try, like, a heatless curls. So, I, like, twisted it with my finger, clipped it up with a bobby pin, and, oh, my God, it looked horrendous. Like, it did not look nice at all. So... I wet my hair again because I needed to brush it and it was like all knotted and stuff. So I wet my hair again and then I was like, no, I can't just leave my hair to dry wet because it's just going to get like really dry. So I put like my treatment on, like to condition it, like help it not get dry, whatever. I left it on for a bit and I just rinsed it off. So my hair is still pretty dry. I mean, pretty wet. It's very wet. It's not dry. And so I'm just like, because of the damage, I'm not like straightening or putting heat on it. So I don't blow dry my hair anymore. And okay, let me just come live and do my makeup because I'm in the mood right now. I wanted to actually do like a simple look. Do you want like a basic look or do you want like a nice look? Or, yeah, look at me. Do you want a basic look or do you want a nice look? Do you want a basic look or a colorful like full glam look? Uh, yeah, let's try my face. I think full glam. I think so too. use the um, MAC Fix It Pink Lit um, as a primer. It's really good. It's like, a, it has strobe cream and you can use it as a primer as and like as an in-between and um, like a setting spray, like an all-in-one type thing. And it gives you like this amazing glow. I'm gonna apply my eyes and let this set while I do my eyebrows. And like, you know, I need to make content with TikTok, right? But it's so much more work. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Eyes. Uh, what was I telling you guys? I forgot. But oh yes, about it. I need to make content, right? But. I don't you know, sometimes I just want to do my makeup without worrying about I need to film this. Or I'm making a video and I need to, you know, record everything. So, I just like, I just want to, you know, chill and do my makeup. But I also want to provide. So, I don't know. I get really confused. So, I was like, okay, let me just come live. Because I, like, I want to start going live more often. Because I hardly ever go live. Yeah. I also need to shave my face. You guys want me want a video on that? I know I made a video before, but I got lots of new followers now. So you do you guys want a video of me shaving my face? Like an updated video? But I also don't have wax at the moment. And I like wax and shave. Like at the same time, you know? Like I incorporate waxing and shaving together. You know, so I just use like a brown eyebrow pencil and fill in my brows a little. And as you can see, I don't go like too much to the center. I just mainly keep it on the outside. And I'm putting this brow gel. Um, this is from Essence. It was clear, but it goes on my eye and then goes back in the tube. So now it's not clear anymore. And I basically like, just darken up the tail. So actually, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing my makeup, man. Like always. Like, do I always have to be going somewhere? I not just look nice because I want to. Why is this brow going higher than the other? It's arcing better. Who's going to win the giveaway? I don't know. I'm not picking. I'm using a random um, picker thingy. And um, the giveaway only ends like at the end of April. So you like still have time to enter. And like, and so yeah, what do we win? So there's a surprise mystery box from me and a voucher of 200 rand to Michaela's Nail and Beauty Bar. 
um that's if you're in Peter Maritzburg. if you're not in Peter Maritzburg, i think we'll probably send you like a set of nails like press-ons and directions on how to put it on for yourself um how you can have it as press-ons or how you can like probably make it last longer and actually prep your nail and file and do all of those things so that is how the winner is going to be selected and that is how everything is going to happen and look how we're doing today so we said we're doing full glam that's why i did my eyebrows kind of hectically so um pick maybe a color or a theme we want to settle with maybe try a smoky eye see smoky eyes are just not for me because it makes me look like I ha someone punched me in the face um i actually saw this thing on tiktok where you actually do like a smoked out wing liner and it doesn't make you look like you got punched in the face and i think it's saying so long I've had that thing for so long the line isn't even blending out. So then do that smoky eye wing. Okay, remember I did it for you. It looks really nice. Yes, it does, yeah. It like works well for your hooded eyes, like always, as well. Mm, that's fine. Left with a really nice black. Yes, this palette has a black. Is it better? Is it a better black? Okay, so I think I'm gonna use use stick to one palette today. Um, I'm gonna try and stick to the Revolution Velvet Rose palette. But I also um really like this brown from the Huda palette. If I don't win, I'll be sad. I, really, I know it's always like that. Um, I really want to win this. I really like this brown from the Huda palette, and I also like these browns here in this Woolworths palette. It's really like a neutral brown shade, and I love that. For this smoky eye, we're gonna be making it hooded eye friendly. So if you like me and you have this crease thingy on your eye, that's a hooded eye. So I'm gonna be using the Revolution Velvet Rose palette. I'm gonna try to stick to this palette. Um, and we're gonna start with an angled brush like this, and I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna see how it looks on you, okay? And I'm gonna dip it into some of this because I wanna wear it a little bit. So, and then we're gonna literally do that and make it nice and pointy and thing, right? I'm gonna go into the, this black. So, whatever black eyeshadow you got, like the blackest black eyeshadow, you are gonna use that. And we're gonna start with a wing. So, we'll be mapping out a wing. I'm not going to do a whole line with the eyeshadow because we're going to use magnetic eyelashes today and the, we'll put the liner. We're going to do the same mapping of the wing on the other eye. Just like that. So we're going to try to get as close as possible and whatever, whatever. Okay. So, I don't really like the browns from this palette. They're not like a neutral set of browns. Like, they are they very um, warm tone browns. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, they're extremely warm tone. So, I'm going to use this Huda palette. And I'm going to go in with this brown. And it's also going to be on a flat brush. And I'm just going to start making this as smoky as possible. And I'm going to blend this brown into my crease like that do you see the shape that we're trying to create and that's what we want to do so that's basically what you're doing you're almost doing like a graphic eyeliner with a brown shadow where you starting in a crease and you joining it to the tail of the wing and then you're going to fill it in
get a brush and just blend it too, keeping it like a super winged out. And I'm blending this harsh line of the that the brown created. And can you see those that harsh line from the black? Look at that compared to this. What do you use for pimples? This is the only thing that I use. That is my whole skincare routine. I use nothing else. I don't. Um, the only time I use moisturizer is when I'm doing makeup. Um, that is my only skincare routine. I don't do moisturizer. Nothing else. Um, I do like scrub maybe once a month. Um, but nothing else. Guys, don't forget if you're new here, if you don't follow me, follow me. And there's a giveaway pinned on my page. I'm doing a giveaway, so check out the giveaway. I'm pretty sure if you win, if you win, if someone else wins, where did you buy it? You can't get it from me. I sell it in my spa, so you can get it from me. It's on sale. Like, do you all see that? Do you all see how stunning this looks? I'm still blending this more because I feel like that, that black, harsh line is still there. So I'm just literally using swiping motions on this eyeliner that I used. So right here, you're just swiping it to blend out like any harsh lines and stuff like that. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go with a lighter brown just to diffuse everything, bring everything together. This went, that went super high, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more brown because this side went a bit high. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go with a lighter brown, and I'm going into the Woolworths palette, and there's these beautiful browns. Um, this is a very very light brown. This is like two medium browns, a caramel browns. So I'm gonna mix the both of them, trying to take more of this one I love this brown and we're gonna blend and bring this whole smoky eye together and blending it right out here and out look at that you do not look like you have like someone punching the face So, like, look at that, you guys. You don't have you. It's a smoky, it's a really pretty, like, smoky eye. I'm just trying to move this. That ball out, okay? The ball is going away. It's a really pretty smoky eye without, like, that look of someone hitting the face. And then I'm just going to go back with that angle brush that I used um, earlier to do the wing eyeliner. I'm not putting any more. And I'm literally, like, defining a line like a very tiny line like you can see that small line uh, on both sides literally just flicking it out of my eye that's it go to disc cam and see what i should have had to like and get one like you want it get it and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set my inner corner with a super light shade like this one so you're gonna tap 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 into it i want like a lot of it I'm gonna go on the inner corner. I'm gonna brighten it up really good. Blend it, cause we're gonna put a nice shimmer there. Um, it's not that expensive. It's really cheap. Or if you just wanna start learning how to do makeup and playing around, go to the China Mall. You can get it even cheaper. Go to the nearest China Mall, cause you just wanna play around, you know. And then when you know what you're doing, you can get an expensive one, or like a more expensive one. Cool. You must teach me. I'm teaching you right now. Like. Um, you could go and get your mom's stuff and then do exactly what I'm doing. Like, your mom should have like a black and like two different color browns or three different browns. I'm just touching up here. Do you guys want to know how to color correct? Should I do like color correcting here with you guys? Why do you here? Do you guys want me to do some color correcting and show you guys how to color correct? Um, yes, okay, cool. I want to do that. I just want to clean out this flat brush because I really love it to place on um, my concealer and even um color corrector. So I'm gonna do concealing on the side and color correcting on the side, and you're gonna see the difference, okay? So now I'm just taking my concealer and following this line here, we are going to put the concealer here and cut it so it looks mm, 
Mwah! Sharp. What a white thing you landed. What white thing? That's concealer. This is concealer. It looks super white on the, the, the camera, but it's like a cream. It's a really light cream. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a light brown. So you use concealer to conceal. Don't feel, don't let them see. Na, 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 na. Okay, cool. That was just me being weird. But anyway, so this is the eye with concealer. I'm going to do color correcting on this eye. This is the color correcting palette that I have. It is from Wet n Wild and it does everything in one. I absolutely love it. You single them. I don't, don't lie to me. Um, so this, it has four different colors in it. You don't necessarily need to worry about this color. I'm going to show you guys right. So you don't need to worry about this. This is a white. It's actually a shimmery white. It's a shimmery white to do, um, to do with like a highlight. So I actually need to see what these things are. Okay, right in these nice colors. Okay, we're gonna look at the pink, the green, and this color here. So this brightens pink, brightens you up. So wherever you need brightening is where you're gonna put this pink. Wherever you have, so like under your eyes, a pink or a peach would work. So we put this pink and blend it out. So your dark marks, your um, blemishes, your, for me, it's my eye bags. Uh, for me, it is my eye bags. So you put like a pink or a peach on it. And eye bags who? Eye bags where? <laughs> Look at that, right? Cute. And I'm also going to use this to carve out my line. Because now we put color corrector, we are not going to put concealer until we finish do our makeup. And you see how much this is covered compared to your concealer? It's beautiful. Like, do you guys see the difference? This covers up so much more than your concealer. Then let's talk about the green. And now the green neutralizes redness. Okay, okay I'm actually going to use some more pink over here. Over there, over there. I'm just gonna pack the bingo on literally. And I blend it out. Okay, under my eye, I blend it out a bit more. Then I'm gonna blend it out here because, yeah, it's fine. Under your eye, you want as little product as possible. Okay, so I have like a little redness and discoloration around my nose area. So I'm gonna use a green for that, okay? So green neutralizes redness. And the green you wanna really blend out because you don't wanna be looking green. Do you see that? Compared to that, it's wonders, right? I can't hurry up my makeup. Put your phone to charge and watch me while it charges. So, yeah, now this here is to add coverage. So where you don't necessarily want to color correct, like my nose, um, you just want to add coverage and cover some stuff up. Like on your nose, you don't put that much foundation. And when you do, because of your pores, it tends to look cakey. So you just want to cover so now if you put like a pink or a green on your nose, it's going to look, um, you're going to need more foundation to cover that up. And you're going to put more foundation on your nose and it's going to look cakey because of your pores and, 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 and. So you'll use like this brown, cream, dark kind of this, it looks like skin. It's a skin color, the color of skin. Uh, it's not necessarily your skin color. It's not as dark or as light as you, but it's going to cover up your marks. And when you put foundation over it, it's not going to be so hard to hide the color. If you put like a way, you put your green, you're going to have to put concealer, then foundation and then your powder to cover the green to cover the redness where you do the pink same thing so you want to you know be wary of where you put your color corrector thank you um elo for the roses Mwah! thank you so where you put your color corrector please be very wary of that and also my forehead i don't like putting a lot of foundation on my forehead because i have a i don't have a huge forehead okay it might look huge but on my hair back but um i don't put a lot of foundation on my forehead as well so we use color corrector, this one here, to cover up. I can't send a rose. I need more coins, sorry. It's okay. Look at that. And you're done. Color correcting, you're done. Okay. So now, what I do, you're going to let that stand. If, if I knew you guys wanted me to do color correcting, I would normally um, color correct uh, before I do my eyeshadow. Do my eyeshadow while it sits, dries down, attaches to my skin. And then we would go on to do like foundation, etc. But because we have not, and I just lightly tap out the edges here on my forehead. And even tap it out a little bit on my nose. Because again, we don't want too much product on the nose. And I'm going to use some pink on this ugly pimple, on this ugly scar. Show me your cutex. My cutex is on the other side, so I cannot stop 
and take off my take out of my take my kids. I don't even know. It's like so far. It's on that side. Okay, so those need to really be, be covered. So I'm gonna leave that for a bit and let that set while we do some foundation. Now it's on that side. So now foundation. What are we doing? Talk to me. Uh let's use my Maybelline. I don't know how much of it I have left, but yeah. Ugh. Why does it look dark? Have I gotten lighter? Guys, have I, my skin gotten lighter? Like, look at how dark that looks. Oh my god. Do I need to change my color foundation from this Maybelline one? But, like, the good thing with the Maybelline, right? It can be, like, too dark or too light for your skin. But it blends out. Oh my god. Let me show you this. It literally just melts into your skin. And I love it. That's why. So, like, even if it looks, like, when it's like this, it looks really dark. But I can trust that it would, like, blend in and to my skin and it will not look like I'm a shade darker it blends in oh so nicely I actually want to show you guys what this one and let's see how this foundation looks in comparison even whoa this one is darker look at that can you guys see okay so this is the Maybelline and this is the Wet n Wild and the Wet n Wild is darker look at that but also the Wet n Wild gone it blends beautifully i'm putting the wet and wild on my nose um for more coverage because the wet and wild does have more coverage than the let me um let me show you guys how this blends like ugh. very exactly this is finished i just need a little bit like this is actually finished what if we fail Ugh. no don't say that we're not gonna fail we're not gonna fail we a cousin's girlfriend did zulu last year so she said it isn't bad yeah, I'm gonna have the textbook in front of me. That's all. Use your criminal law. Ish, good luck. Now let's contour. And for some reason, I've been loving my mother's foundation on me. That she has this Woolworths foundation in the shade Mocha, and I've just been loving it on me as a contour. Like, just loving it.
see how like effortlessly it blended and it looks so natural it doesn't look like harsh it doesn't look like i slapped a foundation on it looks one with my skin contour i see so many people doing the contour like straight why do you do it straight doing it straight does nothing for your face do it like this like curve it make it hug your jawline it looks the best literally looks the best do what works for you what works for your face but like you know, sometimes every time I try to contour I get asked why your cheek is bruised I give up uh what con what are you using to contour like are you using a foundation are you using a concealer if so what concealer because maybe you're putting too much and not blending it enough or um you're letting it dry down and it looks like a line or something like that you want your contour to look really smooth like this when i first started doing makeup trust me a foundation okay so maybe try a concealer because a concealer is not going to dry down as fast as a foundation is like if you can see now on my neck i now have a line because i let it sit for too long can you see that line i let the con the foundation sit for too long so when you let it sit for too long it's going to look like this and like okay why i can see this so evidently and i don't know whether you guys can see it on the camera is because of my lighting so maybe if you're in a rush and you're literally not worried about your lighting you're just going to be like shoop, blend 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 and you're out you know but when you see it from a different light or a light shines on your face if you go outside or whatever you're going to see maybe a line to not blend it properly for instance my neck you can also see the line on my neck because i used a foundation and the foundation dries down faster on your on your face than a concealer would so try and get a concealer uh it doesn't have to be expensive let me show you um, this is a concealer that i used for contouring it's uh, the fit me one um if you get it on sale i think it's 80 rand but um i'm still talking and i'm not blending this line out uh like as you can see now i'm literally rubbing to get this line out but if you do if you um are contouring on your face and you start rubbing you're gonna now move your foundation and it's not gonna look pretty but like on my neck it's a bit more forgivable So you must also like consider your lighting and stuff like that when um especially when you're trying to add warmth and stuff onto your face it's um your lighting plays a huge role and you also don't want to get something too dark not something too light you want it to be two to three shades darker than your skin tone if you go any more it's it's going to look too warm and also um when you go to the makeup counter and let's say you're looking for uh, now you're looking for a contour and a concealer and you're not sure what shade to get in a particular brand and you ask the person 
just quickly test them and ask them what undertone you are. So your undertone is the color that shines from within you. So you can either be warm. Warm is more your orange, um, orange, yellowy, red colors that shine you have more of. And your cool tone is like your blues, you know. So ask them what is my undertone and how you know your undertone is um the quickest way is if you if gold jewelry looks better than you hi nadine how are you if gold jewelry looks better on you you have a warm undertone if silver jewelry looks better than on you you have a cool undertone sometimes gold and um silver jewelry I, yeah, we might be going back next semester and I'm dreading it. <laughs> Sometimes gold and silver look good on you. So you might be neutral, which is great. It's amazing to be neutral. Um, so find out your undertone. Oh, and you can also look on your veins. If you have blue veins, you are cool. If you have green veins, you are warm. I'm good. I'm good. So yeah. Check your undertone and that will be your guide to everything. It will help your contour look and sit better as well. Okay, is my line gone? My line is gone. Cool. Um, what MAC foundation shade do you use? Uh, I don't have my a MAC foundation per se. But I am... I want to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I want to try it. Um, but I have an NC42 that I am. Um, I have. I got a while ago. I haven't tried it yet. It's actually still closed. Um, and I have another one somewhere. I want to try it and see how it sets and lasts on my skin. NC44, I feel it's too dark. Yeah, so I have an NC42 and an NC44. Um, try the NC42. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. This is the 44, this is the 42. The I feel like the 42 is more my shade. So if you're my shade, then the NC42. Because I can see. The NC44 is a bit dark. Yeah, I'll try the NC42. Um, what you can use is the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. Oh, best thing ever. If you have oily skin, use a matte finish primer. Um, that's also from Wet n Wild. Smashbox oil primer wand, but against my foundation, it makes me look oily because I don't use powder. Mm. Okay, so if you're not using powder, use a matte primer. 
If you're using um, powder, then you need to use something hydrating and oil-based primer. A setting spray is going to set your makeup, okay? It's going to make it long-lasting, but it's not going to keep the oils at bay. So I have extremely dry skin, um, and I still use powders because we need to keep the oils and the sweating at bay. So what the powder is going to do is going to absorb the oils, whatever... Even, like, if you sweat, the powder is going to help absorb that. That's why even, like, if you go for, um, if you're going out somewhere, right, and it's during the day and it's hot, or even if it's at night and it's hot, what we do, we touch up with powder because the powder is going to absorb our oils, sweat, etc. Don't, won't it make my skin look dry and cakey? No. No, it won't. So, a lot of things play a part when you're doing your makeup, okay? Um, so, if you have a MAC foundation, that is a matte foundation, okay? So, you want to firstly start with your skin prep. Uh, I would suggest a scrub. So, scrub your skin. I Before I got my Lumis Pie, I used scrubbing my skin like three times a week. So, scrub three times a week. Don't bake. Exactly what I did is I take a huge fluffing brush, fluffy brush, and I tap the powder and I tap the powder onto my skin like this. That's all you do. Um, and then after you scrub, you're going to scrub your face. Then you're going to go in with a really good moisturizer. Um, I use, you could use Nivea. Nivea is really nice. The Nivea Cream Moisturizer, that's really nice. And the um, Epimax. Epimax, oh my god. My lifesaver in winter. Then, if you're going to let that set, right, and you're going to prime, you're going to use something like this Wear and Wild Serum Primer or even the, the MAC Fix It uh, pink light this is what i used today it's amazing it gives you this glow like i want to drown in this bottle it's amazing and you're gonna you can use that to prime and you're gonna let it dry completely before you start putting anything else over then you're gonna do your your foundation whatever whatever and when it comes to powder, powder very lightly. Um, you're going to want to powder under your eyes to set it so it doesn't crease. Um, if you're using a bronzer, like what I'm going to do, I don't set here. Um, I don't know. I'll see when I get to lipstick. If you're going to bronze, don't set here because your bronzing powder will set here your neck your chin so i just go here with powder on my eye on the bridge of my nose on my forehead around my mouth so because this is around your mouth and on your forehead is where you get oily and i set where i put my concealer because i'm not gonna now go and put um bronzing powder on it and then with my bronzing powder i use this one from essence it's stunning and it is so pigmented sometimes i use this lighter shade here to set and i literally just tap it on and you already look warmer your cheeks are defined again And I use circular motion so it like blends in nicely. And this is it's so it's so fine and smooth. It just like glides on your face like butter. And then I just go on my neck a little.
and you're done. And when you're powdering, okay, my hair is, oh, it's not dry yet. Uh, and you put your powder and then use like your spray. Like I used this one, um, your spray. So I used basically this here as a setting spray and a finishing spray all in one. And I used it as a primer because it just, it works amazing as all. Um, so you want to use your setting spray or whatever finishing spray, whatever you're using after you put your powders because it's gonna not make it so powdery and dry thank you for the roses Mwah. yeah and then i let that dry i'm using these magnetic eyelashes i love it i really love them but so we're gonna go with the liner blue thingy no wait Okay, we'll put mascara after this. My favorite part. <laughs> you like this magnetic eyelashes, hey? Let's put some lip gloss. Because my lips are dry. Don't buy it. Okay, these eyelashes are from the China Mall. They were 65 bucks. Even all of my lashes, I'm not gonna lie. The only lashes that I have that are like nice lashes um, um, are these ones from MAC, and I haven't even used them. I keep them like as a showcase. But <laughs> my eyelashes are from the China Store, um, my brushes are from the China Mall. I have like a lip gloss or two from the channel and my lipsticks. And this thing really pokes your eye, so I try and put it as further from my inner corner as humanly possible. But um the room you're in is your room yesterday's. Uh, I started doing, I started in high school. Uh, I saw my aunt, I saw like, if I was a child, I always saw my mom and my aunties and everything do makeup, but they would never let me do makeup. And, um, I was always like, oh, why would you not let me do my makeup? Why would you not do my makeup? And they're like, no, you're too young, this, that, and the other. And then as I got bigger, I started like liking how lipstick looked on me. And I just, I felt pretty, like just by my simple, just putting on lipstick. I just felt really, really pretty. Thanks, Nadine. I felt really pretty and I was like, oh, I, I look nice. And um, I, I, I I struggled with my weight from the time I was tiny, from the time I was small, like in primary school. And um, I didn't, I never liked like the way I look and I was never this confident um, person that I am now. And when I put on a lipstick, I just felt really like confident and pretty and you know, the works. Um, and I always, I had scars on my face also when I was younger and I didn't like that either. So, this now as I got older I started using like lipstick uh then eventually like mascara eyeliner um you know kajal and stuff like that and I felt so pretty and then um as like I got older and I was watching people on TikTok on YouTube and uh seeing these people on Instagram doing makeup and loving it and I always had like um this artistic thing in me that I did but I don't know how to draw or paint and so I got I was I used to get like really frustrated because I couldn't like let out like emotions in myself the way I want to and like creatively express myself uh in school I liked writing um but after school I didn't have like that writing outlet to express myself and um I started learning how to do makeup and I would use my mother's makeup and play with it and oh my god you guys when I started doing makeup ugh, I still have pictures of myself with like horrible eyeshadow looks and me trying to make my mother's foundation match my skin tone and um all of those things and then I got my own money and I started buying my own things and I built up my kit uh, from, I started building my kit last year, June, and I'm still building it and I still want so, many, so much of things. Um, so yeah, I started building my kit and I started doing things on my own. I have my, and like having my own foundation, my own concealer, my own contour, you know, it just, it, I feel nice. And knowing that I bought all these things on my own. Um, 
and like for me like makeup just like it's my creative outlet it's my space it's my me time it's my way of like not writing about everybody else all whatever's going on not writing about school not stressing about that you know it's, it's my time even like my boyfriend like he just lets me be and then sometimes i'll be taking so long he's like you're taking long he's like yeah just leave me alone you know it's my space it's who i am and it's like you know it's how i do things and no one can tell me what i'm doing is wrong because it's my face leave me that alone you know so that's that's basically why i started doing makeup and I feel like a lot of my like a lot of me doing makeup sprouted from the fact that I didn't like how I looked when I was younger. Like I hated how I looked when I was younger. Okay, cool. And then it just makeup gave me this newfound um what's the word I'm looking for? It gave me confidence. Like I found confidence when wearing makeup I feel confident when I wear makeup you know so that's that's where it stemmed it's, um, so pretty bro thank you these um eyelashes are blocking my whole like show my moment yeah Okay, but anyway, it's fine. Let's do put my lashes on my other eye. That all works. I'm loving this look. But it took me like two hours. But I was also talking to you guys, and that's like why it takes really long. It takes two hours because I was talking to you guys. Oh man. Okay, it's fine. I'll just leave it like this. I wanted to put some mascara on my low, I mean, eyeshadow on my like bottom. So it's fine like this. I'll just leave it like this. Oh, let's put some highlighter. Um, I don't want to put blush. I'm not in the mood for blush. Where are you off to? I'm not going anywhere. I go nowhere. I do nothing. I'm going to sleep after. I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to study. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to study. Right. Lipstick. So, I don't do nude and be basic with a smoky eye and nude. No, we're not basic here. We're going to do a, a red lip. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a red lip. Okay. This is a really thick maroon lip liner. Okay. And I don't know why I find this easier. Like it does I like I, I usually fill my lip in like what it does now. I do that. And it's just easier with these thick ones. Because look at it. Because like, your liner lasts longer than your lipstick. And if anybody's nervous that. And we're going to go really red. 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 done let's highlight oh in a corner quickly and then we'll get ew this brush 
do this one. And that opens up your eye even more. So, bye guys!